Lesson four: Rationality doesn't make us happy. Quote: Don't let us forget that the causes of human actions are usually immeasurably more complex and varied than our subsequent explanations of them. End quote. The scientific revolution starting in 15th century Europe led to rationality becoming a moral doctrine for 18th century Enlightenment. Philosophers like Immanuel Kant, Voltaire, and Rousseau championed rationality that could replace God in a solve all human problems. Dostoevsky, however, says that humans are a lot more irrational in life, so reason alone cannot solve everything. Our anxiety in modern world is partly because we are forced or expected to be rational all the time and conform to institutional rationalism, which Kafka criticized in his novels. Our emotions determine most of what makes us happy or unhappy. Falling in love or friendship is not always rational or calculated. Most of our big decisions in life may seem rational; they have a very strong emotional undercurrent. Dostoevsky was the first to question rationality-driven modernity. Reason alone is not enough to give us meaning. Nietzsche, who is famous for his criticism of rationality, acknowledges that Dostoevsky was the only psychologist who taught him something. For Nietzsche, art is profoundly emotional. Technology and science make our lives more convenient, so we are led to believe that we can manufacture happiness too through logical and rational formula. This is a mistake. Quote, it's life that matters, nothing but life. The process of discovering, the everlasting and perpetual process, not the discovery itself at all. Happiness should come as a byproduct of what you do. It should not be a goal.